We're on the Tim Hoven farm in one of Tim's primary fields where they do adaptive multi-paddock grazing. And we're working our way from the, the, the upper reaches of a slope down to the lower areas in this field and running transects perpendicular to that. We've picked a pretty common or, or dominant soil catena on each ranch that represents uh, the amp grazing and is also represented on neighboring ranches with the heavy continuous and light continuous grazing. So here we've got a John Deere Gator with a Giddings uh, hydraulic soil sampler mounted on the back and we're able to do one meter long two inch diameter soil core in a matter of seconds. And this is what in Steve's old method of doing this work should take uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes. We're able to get over to a, a new point, set our anchors so the machine will stay in place as we drive the hydraulic probe in. The two inch diameter uh, of the core, it's being captured in these plastic tubes. And then we cap it with a red and a black cap. And then we've got a full uh, one meter soil core that we can send to the lab. So we're basically collecting these 30 from each field and then we'll ship them off for analysis in the coming weeks. Not bad, huh? There's so much good science and a lot of this has never been done. So we have a scientist that's working on the Towers Ranch uh, across the way. He's doing carbon pulsing in these small pulse tents. He'll be injecting CO2. The plants will be taking that up during photosynthesis. A normal carbon isotope that's in most abundance is carbon-12 he'll be injecting carbon-13. So this is a, a cylinder of pure carbon dioxide, which is 13C rather than 12C. We've got 100 litres here. Um, that's $10,000, $10,000 worth. So what's the difference between the carbon-13 and the CO2? That's it's just one neutron. neutron. It's slightly heavier. Oh, on the okay. atomic scale yeah. and in, so, in the atmosphere naturally there's about 99% of it is 12 yes. CO2 and only 1% of it is 13 CO2 so then with the, these experiments we're kind of switching that round and we're enriching the atmosphere in 13 CO2 to an unnatural level mm -hmm. and then that allows us to trace that addition of carbon through the plant and then soil systems. 